Hello, hello, everyone. Venturious Blackheart. Back with another episode of A Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. Last time, we met uh, plenty of characters. McCready, that had been a hybrid wolf sh sheep. Her best friend, uh, it's actually a bunny with convenient nosebleeds, which we all, with an excuse of high blood pressure, but we all know why she gets that nosebleed. And some other characters, which I do not know how relevant they will be to the story of ferret, a wolf, uh, and black wolf, and I another kind of sheep. I do not remember all their names. I just started the game, okay? And let's see. Alright, we ended the school. We went back to home. And I think we're having a bit of a memory here. And I do love how her dress looks on her. I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. That looks real good. So let's, let's get started. I'm in my papa's car. I'm driving down the road somewhat fast too. Uh, let's see if I get more. I'm alone. There's no one, no papa, no other drivers, just me on just me on one long straight road. That's okay though. Like Papa said, I should start remembering routes. About that time, I feel the car hit something. It launches me forward, causing me to to head Bob. My head to pop slightly. Excuse me, sorry, I don't know what's wrong. I cannot read things today. Curious, I open my car door and walk out to see what I hit. Maybe it's a dream, not a memory. It ta I take in my surroundings. It's nothing but woods and a straight road for as far as I can see. I hear squeaky breathing from behind the car, followed by gurgling. I walk towards the noise and... Whoa, damn! I didn't kill that fucking deer. Okay. I did not expect this. People need to know where they're going. If she knew where her dumb ass was going, she wouldn't be dead. Did you ever think about that? Did you ever think about paying attention to the road? What kind of ignorant asshole thinks they can walk into a street? Without getting run over, I can actually see her wolf fangs now. <laughs> Look at her properly. She's staring at me. You're a bit of an asshole, though. Quit staring. Stop 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 staring. Oh. <laughs> I hate that dream. Oh my god, you have one, must have one messed up head to have dreams like that. Creepy. Ugh. But it's a new day. September 2nd. Un, un vendredi. I cannot pronounce that. Due to what I dreamt, I woke up somewhat early. I have plenty of time to get ready, but... 
frankly, I don't feel like it. As I enter the kitchen, I hear a loud wiring noise. Wiring noise. I cannot pronounce that properly, sorry. To my surprise, I see Papa. He's testing out the blender. What has... What has you awake so early? What has you up so early, Papa? <laughs> oh, okay, we're gonna jump that business again. L low red dual smoothie. Oh, he's making a smoothie. Really? You're up this early to make smoothies? Oi! <laughs> Would you like one? Well, duh! <laughs> huh, I knew you would. Whatever, just make it a strawberry and banana one. Oh, I know. That's always been your favorite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I watch him as he makes my smoothie first. Dumping ice cubes, strawberries and bananas in the blender. I notice he puts more strawberries in it than bananas. The fact he remembers I would always want more strawberries than bananas in my smoothie warms my heart. Oh, that sounds so delicious. And yeah, I would prefer more, straw more strawberries than bananas too. Do you have any plans for today? Just to try and manage at, at school today. Uh, of course, of course. You made new friends yesterday, oi? Friends is a bold word to use. <laughs> She's blushing. I met some rather s similar to me. Uh, I mean, uh, let me restart it. I met someone rather similar to me. I'm not quite sure if I can call us friends though. Similar? How so? Not a hybrid, if that's what you were thinking. None. I know that is a rare occurrence. You're special! Not only are you my little Agnio, but you're my chiot. Uh, I can. I do not know these words. I know they're French, but I cannot pronounce them properly. And you're the the only one I have. I know, Papa. So she's only child. That's why you're so important to me. I want you to live much better than I. I'm curious about what happened to her mother, though. Thank you, Papa. Mainly just uh, they haven't shown her at all. And I just noticed that cute little pictures up on the um, upper right hand corner. Oh, that's adorable! <laughs> yeah. Although her that's definitely her, but her face is dark though. Not white like it is now. You deserve everything. I would give you the whole world and more if I could. I think I want to drive myself to school today. Oh? Cool? <laughs> I want to drive by myself today. Are you sure? You don't want me to tag along with you at all? No, Papa. I think I need... Just a little more alone time before school today. Well, alright. Your smoothie's done. Don't forget to bring it with you. Rolling my eyes, I grab the cup and he had poured the smoothie in. Oh, I'll need your keys. Oh, of course. Well, it does. He needs to start, to start the car. I watch him fiddle in his pocket for a moment. 
the jingling of the keys softly ringing through the echoey kitchen. He places them on my hand. I first, I first my hand. Um, let me start. I fist my hand up, the metal on, on metal contact making a light cling noise in my palm. Bye bye, Papa. Salute, Muffula. I'm pretty sure I butchered that. I haven't driven since the day I turned 18 when I, when I put the keys in. The sudden rumbling of the car took me by surprise. There are so many compo components to a car, yet you never see it unless something is wrong. Although, admittedly, I don't know anything about vehicles. I see Papa waving at me as he stands in front of the door. He looks so proud, but almost pained in a way. That isn't the task at hand. What's more troublesome than Papa's emotions is how I'm going to get myself to school. It's, it's embarrassing to say, but seeing all of the buttons and gears and levers on this car overwhelms me a little. And that dream. What the whole... The, all the stuff in the car, I get it. I... We have like only stick... Stick drive here in Argentina. And... I cannot get the hang of that, so that's why I don't drive. It is a bit overwhelming at times. That fucking dream. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to think about it. I'm sure once I get to school, I'll quit thinking about it. Mayor! Cretty? What? Well, you look really bad today. And the sound kind of reflects that. Which is weird. You look so nice yesterday. Is everything okay, McCready? Yes. Man, you know I can tell when you're lying. <laughs> I know something's up. Are you having trouble adjusting? I'm adjusting fine. See? That's exactly what I mean. You can tell me if something's wrong. We've known each other for so long. I just had a bad dream, alright? What was the dream? God damn it, I knew you'd find me as that. <laughs> oh, come on, she's adorable, she's worried. I, I tell her, I'll do leave out some details for her own day. <laughs> I love a friend like that. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just, I don't want to talk about it, okay? All right, McCready. Hey, how about tomorrow you come and visit my place? <laughs> you mean your farm? Yeah. Don't, don't you think that cheered you up? Just like when we were kids, rolling around in the dirt all day harvesting the food. Maybe we could even make dinner together. Cassette. I love that. I knew you'd say, I knew you'd say yes. Oh, but you do know all my siblings are gonna be there, right? So? Well, the family's grown since the last time you came over. Well, they are rabbits, so it makes sense. By, by how much? A lot, probably. Two dozens. Two. Doesn't that mean you have eight little siblings now? 
Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure I can adjust. Hey, look, kitty. Did you drive yourself to school today? Yeah, I did actually. That's amazing! I'm glad you're taking more responsibility these days. You didn't think I was responsible before? <laughs> yes, sir, they weren't. Well, you're mature, but you never really do grow up stuff. That is true. Take me for instance, I still love Legos, okay? I still love that stuff. What do you mean? You don't drive. You don't have a job. You just go to school. I guess so. Well, my family's doing alright. And like, it's her father's like got a decent salary. It's not much you can worry about. And focus solely on her study for a much better future. That would make sense. But I have a lot of school to do. I get that. I can hardly focus on school with the family and farm being so important to me. Yeah, she gets it too. Uh, and I know you're not dumb. You're super smart. I just don't understand why you don't try to work more on your personal life. I'm worried about it when... The, I'll worry about it when the time comes, God said it. I mean, that's probably the best time to worry about it, when you're in school. I know. It sucks having to work and study at the same time. I know what that's like. Right. Well, I think I probably ought to just start making my way to class. I'll need to stop by the nurse, or the nurse office to get some tissues in case I have a nose bleeding class. Because you're thinking something naughty about your friend? <laughs> did you bleed in class yesterday? Yeah, I did. I'm okay though. Our teacher excused me and let me clean up. With this new problem though, learning stuff is gonna be even more difficult. Hey, I'm sure you got this. I actually do know what cassette is talking about. I, when I was a kid, I was like that. I would get nosebleed oh so often. And for no reason at all. If you can manage so much at home, school won't be much different. Yeah, you're probably right. Huh? Well, I'll see you later, man. After school, maybe. If that's what you want, sure. Good, I'll see you then. Said it being to de depart begins to depart from the con conversation. As a slight skip in her step as she won wanders away. I can kinda of picture that being oh so adorable. <laughs> what she said has really improved my mood for the day. As I walk around, I notice Pierre. Pierre, he looks no, not terribly wor noticeably mean worried. That's kind of misspelled, I think. McCready, Pierre, Pascal, you know him, right? Yes. Why? I didn't see him at all yesterday. I'm sure he was just very busy with class. He always takes time to speak to me at some point in the day. But I haven't seen him at all. Not even this morning e either. <clears throat> Look, I'm sure he's fine. Maybe he got sick and needed to take some time off school. I didn't think of that. See? There's options you aren't t taking into account. Just be patient. He'll turn up eventually, yes? <clears throat> yes, you're right. Alright, I need to get going. I as well. 
I'll see you again sometime. Oi! <laughs> you two again. Yes! It's, it is! <laughs> I got to go crazy with on that one. What are you doing? Well, well, we go to this school, silly. Arf! <laughs> Nurse thinks you're rather dumb for not thinking of that. I knew that. I meant, what are you two doing in the halls? We're new here, so we just roam around. We find it rather interesting here. Why? None of us have been to a school so prestigious before. The uniforms, the way everyone here carries uh, themselves, the decor. Everything just looks so expensive, does it not? I guess so. Wait, you two never worn uniforms before? I sure haven't! For Noir here, I can't really say. No. I don't think she has. Arf! <laughs> I always appall. It always appalls me when she barks and they act as though they can understand it. <laughs> well, technically you can if you look at the expression and the, the kind of sound she would make based on what. She, she stole, she stole or something. So you could probably make somewhat what she's trying to say, especially if like you got your coach a person. You ten, in time you start to pick up on those subtle hints. Maybe it's a true kind man, kindmanship. I do not know that. I never heard that word before. I'll never comprehend. I am half of what Noir is, and I don't understand. Hey, wait, you two have never worn universe, correct? Correct, never! Then, is that why... Oreo wears the tie on their head, or Noir wears her bow tie on her hair? Well, we have just Oriel since it will make more sense. Indeed! <laughs> I get a better answer of that. I'm still wearing the tie, so it doesn't count as breaking the code, right? It does make a point. It doesn't say where you have to put it. You just put it on your arm, you put it in your arm, you want to put it in your head, put it in your head. <laughs> the code doesn't really say where. I don't think. That's how it works. <laughs> well, I haven't been re reprimanded for it. Exactly! <laughs> of course. How long have you two known each other? Only since we both arrived here. What caused you two to get so close? I'm the only one who really has enough patience for Noir. Is no one likes how she choose, chooses to express herself. You know, with the barking and all. But I don't mind at all. I find it rather cute. I do too, I'm not gonna lie. I'm adorable. Why? Well, most carnivores don't let their animalistic size show in nowadays. So, for someone like Neuer, who chooses to let her animal out, well, I just find it enduring. En enduring. I think I'm brushing it right. Have you ever been told how strange you are? Oh, all the time, yes! <laughs> okay, I'll leave you both to it. Class is starting soon. Oh, right, Miss Creddy. Miss Creddy, uh, <laughs> Don't call me that. <laughs> it's so adorable when you cough an attitude. 
Shut up. <laughs> She's blushing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Miss McCready. Me and Nor will be out behind the school. Don't you have classes? We do, but we found class pretty boring yesterday. So we're going to skip it and see what happens. You'll get the tension. I guess me and Nor will find out. All right, well, I'm going to class. You have fun, McCurdy. Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> I sit down and immediately begin, begin to do my school home, school work. I don't want to deal with any more people today. I've had my fill. I'm stumped on a question, however. The D minor chord consists of what notes? Oh, I do not know this. I look quick safe here. I don't know anything about music. I've never even. I've tried to learn to choose the guitar and fail miserably. Uh, the first one? I don't feel very confident with that choice. No, I want to get it right. Maybe it's two sharps. Ah! I wanna get it right. I wanna get it right. So it's C D F A. I know I don't even know what this is. I'm sure that's correct. <laughs> okay, a quick save phone. It's not cheating, the game gives me the option. It always confused me though. I always associate minor chords with sharp notes. Yet this chord has no sharp notes. Oh. It always felt as though it was in an awkward place as a chord, chord, se as a chord sequence. I suppose that might be why it reminds one of my favorite chords to to this day. It remains my right? favorite. It's not that you'd expect it to be... It... It's not what I ex I expected it to be. I wonder what other expect of it. The rest of the class consists of me answering various questions pertaining to music. I suppose it's mainly just to see which students will have trouble learning in this class versus the ones who practice at home or still retain their knowledge. I finish it pretty quickly, mostly just assuming and hope <laughs> hoping through all of the questions. I would probably be in the same position. Oh crap, excuse me. <laughs> Yeah, got a hiccup! Oh, excuse me. You again? I suppose we run into each other frequently. You're telling me. Is it a problem? No, I don't really mind. I just haven't had the best morning, you know. I understand that. Well, I... I'll be seeing you, McCready. Right. <laughs> I am Bridget. I gotta get it. Pure... Pure looks very feminine for a male wolf, I'm gonna say. Maybe he... Kinda gay, maybe? Because just look at him. The, the way the uniform looks... Gives that feminine and the hair, the expression, gives that feminine vibe. I do like them. 
not gonna lie. I find him an, an, like an interesting character. Wonder what got him so upset. McCready? McCready? Pascal? She Don't be so loud! Why? What's going on? I'm trying to keep my distance from Pierre. Okay, why? I found out he has a huge history of violence last night. I know I'm a carnivore too, but I feel way more like I fit in with you herbivores. I'm not really one for fighting like some of the stronger carnivores are. You sure have a few bones to pick with me. <laughs> oh my gosh, she, she's savage. You always start it. Learn to take a joke, mon ami. Your jokes aren't very funny, McCready. I'm laughing. <laughs> okay, McCready. Just don't tell him you saw me, okay? Please? Fine, I won't. But he's been looking for you all day. Maybe you should at least tell him you don't want to hang out with him. I can't do that. Why not? What if he gets angry and hurts me? You got those sharp carnivore teeth, don't you? He's a whole foot taller than me, McCready. I have faith in you. Plus, be sure does have its advantages too. Yeah, right. Especially him being like a, f a ferret. She said it was right. Or, or uh, what? He's more nimble, more agile and slippery, so he would have somewhat of an advantage. He looks like he would be slow. Well, I'm going to go now. Don't let him know you saw me. I won't. It's tempting to tell Pierre, though. If Cassette had stopped talking to me out of the blue. <laughs> Well, I... It's not important. And speaking of the devil... Mayor! Hi, Cassette. I hope I pronounced that properly. Uh, if I'm not, somebody in the, down in the comments tell me... Like, show me how it's properly pronounced, please. I know it's some French in this. There has to be a proper way to say it. But since I don't know anything about French, I'm probably going to struggle with it. You look a little happier since this morning. Still super messy, but at least you have more of a smile on your face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at least I have that, huh? I, I, I hear a soft buzzing sound to which Cassetta pulls out her phone. From her expression, I can tell it's a family member. Oh, shoot! Okay, man, I have to go. It's okay, really. Please explain to the teacher I had to leave, okay? You know I always have you covered, Cassette. Thank you, Mayor. You're a lifesaver. Of course. Well, we part ways and I feel as though I have so much more to do today. Class again, and I think that's a good spot to leave it for now. I hope you like this, like the video. I'm definitely liking the game, honestly. I am loving the dialogue between the characters, the, and the expressions they show. <laughs> and. Sorry, sorry that the videos are a little bit short, but I am trying to keep them short for YouTube's sake and stuff like that. That's hard for me to explain. Anyways, I hope you liked that video. If you did, hit that like, subscribe, and hell that, hit that bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. I have been Therese Blackheart, and I hope to see you all next time. Bye bye!